guys, so today I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to get your makeup done quicker in the morning. So I'm currently back at college. Um, even though my classes are in the afternoon, I am tending to sleep in in the morning and then by the time I have lunch and get on the train and get to where I need to go, I'm still running late. So I have gotten to the point where I've done my makeup on the train, but I'm just going to give you guys a few little tips on how to get your makeup done quicker so you don't have to do it on the train. So yes, I've just flipped my hair into a low ponytail and pinned my fringe back so nothing's going to get in the way. Now the first step is doing your base. Now once you have nice skin, everything sort of, you know, goes along with that. But doing your base can take a lot, it's basically it can take a lot. So you can prime it, you can conceal it, you can contour, you can foundation, powder, there's a lot to do to get everything smooth. But if you're in a rush, choose either to only conceal or to prime. Um, depending if you have like spots, like I've got a few spots, so just on my chin. Um, but if you don't have spots, but you want your makeup to last longer in the day, like it's warm, then prime. But if you're just in a super big rush and you know your skin's looking okay, you're not worrying about it, just use a uh, tinted moisturizer or BB cream. I have three different ones um, in this particular bag of things. At the moment. Some of them are lighter than my skin tone, some of them are darker than my skin tone. I've been mixing these two together in my last couple of videos, which you can do if you want more of a fuller coverage on your face because you haven't got the time to conceal or to prime. That's another option. But all I'm going to do today is first thing you do would be like wash your face. Like that's step one for any of this, but I had a shower this morning, so I thought I should, I should just like wash my hands. I did eat like half a trip, so sausage for lunch. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do is just take the applicator that comes in the bottle. Another tip is try to limit the amount of brushes you use uh, while doing your makeup in the morning because you don't want to really like lose track of where they are and you're running around the bathroom like where did that like, eyeliner brush go or where did that blending brush go or, and that adds to distress. So you want to just use what applicators you have with your products as much as possible which will save on time and stress. I found that if you like conceal around your eyebrows, any hairs and stuff that like if you haven't got time to like pluck your eyebrows, we'll get to that um, when we get to the brow stage, but if you haven't had time to pluck your eyebrows, um, you can put like a little bit of concealer over the top of them, especially like the ones up here on your face. And it sort of helps to bring the shape through a little bit more of your brows. And then with like your clean finger, this finger, I've mentioned before, it's the softest finger um, on your hand, so and gently just blend that in. But yeah, this is customizable to however late you are in the morning, what you want to achieve with your look, like if you want a light look or if you just want to get like a full face done but quicker. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is just going to take my BB cream. This one, I think... I should probably throw out, like, look at them. I have hardly used it, but somehow it's so dirty. Can you hear that? I really don't think it should make that sound. I'm thinking, like, the product's separating. But we'll use it just for today. That's the lightest one I've got. I always get them too dark. So I think it's too dark. Yeah, okay, maybe not. That is not coming up right. Yeah, okay, that can go in the bin. It's like I'm spreading like, water in the back of that. Okay, and use this cloth from earlier. <laughs> Bad habit of holding onto makeup that really I shouldn't be holding onto. All right, so I'm gonna take this tinted moisturizer. This one's looking a lot better, and the liquid foundation. Also, knowing what product you're gonna use in the morning will also help you get ready quicker. So if you plan your makeup in the morning it's better better consistency it'll also help you get it done faster i think the quickest i've done my makeup just in general is 15 minutes and that is where i got the idea to do something like this it's just just doing it quite simple and basic but you still add features to your look so it doesn't look you're not wearing anything you'll still like oh, we'll get there in a second <laughs> getting ahead of myself Okay, make sure you blend it on your neck, that's just a pointer in general. 
depending on the stickiness, if it's a matte um, base you're using or if it's just a liquid, the stickiness of your product sort of determines whether you put down a uh, fresh powder or not. Well, in my case, oh, is there a lid on this face? Yes, okay. I have to put like a little piece of tissue inside this particular container because it goes everywhere. So I'm just going to use just a fluffy brush. Step is like super quick. If you put enough on your brush and just blend it real quickly over your face, and it, you'd have to spend time just taking out the stickiness and just moving out your face. Also, I find that if you just put powder on your neck to even out the color, like you blend the liquid or the cream or the stick underneath your jawline here. But when you blend it down, just use a powder. I find that's the easiest and works the best for me. So it's just a recap. Um, you can choose to either conceal or prime, depending on what you've got planned for the day. So if you've got blemishes, conceal. If you want makeup to last longer, prime. But if you're in a super big rush, just put on a little bit of moisturizer. Um, but if you want a little bit more coverage, make sure to tint moisturizer with um, a foundation. A liquid foundation and then depending on the stickiness of your foundation um, is whether or not you use a pressed powder at the top of that and my hair is falling out so the next part is your contour I'm just gonna take a cap I forgot what the brush is called kabuki there we go kabuki brush and the area of my face that I just contour when I'm in a rush is under my cheeks here I don't worry about like the whole face thing um, I just like having nice cheeks so what I usually do is take this one is like my gradient palette so it's like three different shades in here but I usually take a dark brown um, I had had a really nice one the sun, summer bronzing one that I got I was using a lot in my recent videos um, but I don't know where that's coming for the moment so anyway grab the middle shade in this particular palette and pout and then just bring it like under the cheekbone and that's how it goes and then I'm just going to dust up my kabuki brush and blend we don't want to line okay and that's literally all I do for contouring if I'm in a rush um, if you want to do full-blown contouring that's up to you but I usually try to stay away from that if I'm running late okay and then yeah I don't know where my other products are it must be in another bag um then I just take a light pink blush I was using the other checkered blush that I got with the other bronzer that's in some other bag. But yeah, I usually take like a light pink or a orangey, like a coral tone. Same brush. That doesn't really matter. You've dusted it out when you've blended out your bronzer anyway. And then just on the apples of my cheeks. And then I blend that in, out and up, and then into where the contour is. And then we're done for blush. Um, if you are worried about... Like evening out colour, you can quickly dab a little on your chin and into your forehead and then dust it out and then blend it on that. And that takes about two seconds to do that. So yeah, blush is now done. So now it's time for the eyes. Now, my favourite palette is my Wild at Heart palette. These are the colours that I like using when I'm in a rush. I also like the colours that are in my Napoleon Per... Yeah, Napoleon Purtis. Oh, look at that, top top. My Napoleon Purtis palette. Um, the golds and like the, the warm creams. They're the colours that you want to stay with when you're in a rush to do your makeup. Now, I can actually do my makeup with like, quite a pretty eye with just my fingers. So, I'm going to show you that. Because when you're in a rush, you just like don't care. Let's get the makeup on my face. The first thing that I... Well, the first colour I usually put down... Is, I think it's this one. I don't know from underneath my eyebrows. I usually in a rush, I can't remember. Maybe, no, no. Okay, we use this one today. It is the gold color here. And that goes on with my pointer finger. And I just put that over my lid like this. Okay, so this is where the tips and options come in. You can either have one color. I shadow and put a liquid liner on top okay that's option one option two 
is that you don't put liquid liner on, but you contour the edge of your eye instead, as I dimension. So you can either choose between having a single color on your lid and liner, or two colors, one as a base and then one for contour. Um, in this case, I am going to sort of combine them to show you how it sort of goes. So I just put like a gold or like, like a, some sort of like neutral tone, like a cream or a gold or something on my uh, for my base. So I usually put like a gold or a neutral tone for my base in most of my looks that I do. Now I'm going to take this colour here, which is like a mockery colour, like a purpley brown. I put that onto my ring finger. And then all I do is put it at the edge of my eye and blend it up. And same on the other side. And then because I have hooded eyes, I just sort of bring it up just to the edge of my eye socket. Sort of open up my eye a little bit. Okay, this is where I would take a brush. So I'm um, just going to grab this not metallic colour at the top here, it's like a light light pink colour, and put that onto a domed blending brush. Take the domed blending brush and I'll blend that underneath my eyebrow and into the contour colour, just so everything gets even. And that would be it for the eyeshadow if I wasn't going to be putting on a liner. but one thing you always have to put on is mascara okay no matter what you do to your eyes put on a little bit of mascara now what have i got in this one i don't even have mascara in here which is super bad if i don't i don't even have any yeah. i think i read the bathroom but yeah <laughs> mascara is important but i will show you how to do a quick wing if you are in a rush also a little tip if you wanted to have a wing look we haven't got the skills at the time to do um, a proper wing take angled um, eyebrow brush or an eyeliner brush and some black powder and you can use that instead of like a liquid or a gel also if you want to be even super quicker you can grab a pencil um, and as you're lining your under your eyes, if you choose to, um, you can also blend the pencil up into your upper eyelash line and then you can smoke it out with uh, powder. Okay, so I might do that on one eye and then bring on the other to show you the different ways you can play around with that. So anyway, so I'm just going to do a uh, basic wing. This is how I usually do my uh, eyeliner. I usually... It's really hard holding a mirror. This is what I learnt when I was doing my eyeliner on the train. I had to hold my iPod up and I had to work out how to put the makeup on. So I'm going to try because I usually pull my eye taut and just draw across and that's how I get my style. So what I usually do is I start here. I kind of just line the top lid. I don't really wing it when I do my makeup in, in a rush. I usually just dome it and I find that this is all I have to do to sort of open up my eyes because I've got small eyes so I usually just do that to <laughs> it. I'm quite happy with that. Um, if I had, the, I think it's just a section here and it's like right because I can't pull it taut. Anyway, I'm going to quickly go to the bathroom and just go fix that up and I'll be back. So that's how I usually do my top liner if I'm in a rush and I think it looks quite good. I just like having the black on top of my eye. Now for the alternative version. Okay, that is going in the bin. Out. <laughs> is this like my scraps of makeup in here? I swear. Well, I'll just demonstrate anyway with the smoky. So you don't really want it to have glitter in it, but you can. And you can just tap that onto that. Again, I would go and hold it to it. But this is what I would usually do. It's quite light. I would just grab a blending brush and sort of just smoke it out. So yeah, there are two eyeliner alternatives you can choose between. This one's much more subtle, but it still adds like a little bit of dimension to your eye. So yeah, there you go. depending on how much time you have in the morning, <laughs> you can either do a wing like this or a smoky wing like that. Everything looks the same. I'm going to go with my liner and do this side like this side, but yeah back in a second. Sadly, no luck um, finding some mascara, but there is a trick that I know that you can do if you do not have mascara or 
you want to share somebody else's mascara, you can. Oh, I did it with the mascara. So this is hopefully going to work the same way. Um, what I did was uh, I didn't want to contaminate my sister's mascara because you're not supposed to share mascara because of eye infections and stuff. So what I did was just clean my hands and grab the wand and rubbed it into my finger. And then I just pressed my finger into my eyelashes and it did the same thing. So what I'm going to do is take the same black we used for the second alternative for the eyeliner. And I'm just going to press that. Hmm, it's kind of working. Okay, so yes, mascara is a must-have. <laughs> well, so that is quite messy using the eyeshadow, but sometimes when you're in a rush, you do anything. So yay, ideas. Okay, so the next thing, we're almost done. Like we literally have two steps left to go. The next bit of this look is the eyebrows. Now you have to have eyebrows before you go out the house. Sometimes you get half done and you're like, oh crap, I have to go. You put like gloss on in the car or whatever, but you forget about your brows. So what I'm gonna do is gonna take this wand and brush my brows into place. And then the easiest way is to do it with a little, it's called brow this way. And it's really good. It's like a liquid, like a, it's like a mini mascara, but for your eyebrows, and it goes on super well. But I don't have that moment that stuff is at mum. So I'm just going to do my normal eyebrows. i going in with the nutty brown as my base. I might invest in getting some clear brow gel because that might be really helpful to set the powders that I use to do my brows. Okay, and after I put that on, I take this dark brown, I can't say it, <laughs> this dark brown from my smoky palette and again dab it onto the brush. Try to like not get too heavy with this colour and just fade it a lot. Now it's time for the lips. So depending on how much of a rush you are in, there are three options you can choose from. The first one is putting on lipstick. You can choose like a bold lip, light lip, whatever super quick super easy you can also put on a gloss depending on how everything else looks depending on how light you've gone with the rest of your look you might need to put a little bit of gloss on and then the third option is just lip balm if you have to run out the house just grab a tinted lip balm or just a clear lip balm take it with you and then you can put it on while you're waiting in traffic or when you're on the bus simple and you'll have something to hydrate your lips as well so I am going to go with, I don't know, it's just really nice and simple. So I'm just going to go with a nice simple lipstick. I might quickly line my lips, it's just like super easy. Also, if you haven't got a lipstick or you're not only on a light colour, just fill your lips in with a lip liner. It works super well. Also, lip liner is used as a way to keep your lipstick on longer as well, so there's another trick. <laughs> So I'm going with 405 Temptress Rose as my lipstick and this is by CoverGirl. When you rub your lips together, sometimes lips can get underneath your mouth, so take your ring finger and just rub it. A little bit of left over there. And also I've got quite a deep um, Cupid's bow, so I find that when I rub my lips together, I sort of rub lipstick into my cupid's bow, so I just take my well, finger, <laughs> but I take my pointer finger and I come down from just where that little dip is in your lip and just flick it and then I usually clear my cupid's bow. Alright, let's take this hair down. Okay guys, so here is the finished look. If you um, we're up to date with my other videos, you would know that I straightened my hair and oh my god, it's gone kinky already it's because I've been in a loose low ponytail. My hair is the worst. But yeah, um, it took a little bit and yeah, I hope you liked how everything turned out. I hope those tips are helpful and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!